right, so we'll have a little talk here about marketing your app. So after you do the programming stuff, after you publish it, after it's out there for people to start to download, you then have to do some amount of marketing for people to know about your app, download your app, pay for your app. So what would you say is another word for marketing? So marketing could be another word for what? Advertising. Advertising, sure. So it's about advertising. Now when you hear the word advertising, maybe what other word do you think about or words besides advertising? Sales. Sales or, or spending. Usually it costs money to advertise, doesn't it? So we have real world advertising. We have digital advertising. What are some uh, examples of real-world advertising and marketing? Not quite yet. Not quite there yet. Real world, offline. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, postings uh, on bulletin boards, sure. We have also radio ads, TV ads, newspaper ads. And I think the official title is that guy that flips the sign on the corner. <laughs> sign flippers. Artisan sign, artisan sign flippers, something like that. Some are very talented. So real world marketing. Uh, to catch people's attention about something, a product, a service, goods, food, whatever. Traditionally, this, this is something that's been around forever, some sort of marketing, advertising in the real world. Well, the big thing that, that defined it is more money, more exposure. So in it, I've said before, in addition to teaching classes at colleges, I do a lot of this stuff in the real world for real clients. So I teach the programming classes, but I also do these marketing classes. We, I have classes here where we talk about, in much more detail, marketing, uh, specifically digital marketing. And I do that. I'm part of a company that we do that for real clients. Uh, real clients pay us real money to do it real right. And they get real mad if we don't do it right. So in the real world, you would have to do some of this marketing, but it's usually not free. That ad on TV, you know, unless you're doing it on public access, I guess, it's not free, but who watches public access? There's radio ads, that's not free. <coughs> These postings on a bulletin, let's say I'm putting a posting right there for people to look at all day long to hire me. Let's say I'm a plumber, I put an ad right there hire me as a plumber. That, uh, that printout was not free. Um, maybe you know you went to uh, Office Depot or Kinko's or whatever and printed 500 copies. That was not free. Maybe you borrowed the company printer. Well, technically that's not free. You're stealing company time, aren't you? So however you get that printout, it wasn't free. Uh, what about putting flyers on people's windshields? That's not free. What about that person that flips the sign on the corner? Hopefully they're getting at least minimum wage. So traditional marketing is not free. Digital marketing. Here's the answer from earlier. Facebook. What else about, what other aspects or avenues of digital marketing might you have heard of? YouTube. Twitter. Snapchat, Instagram, etc., etc. So all of these social networks then are the new generation of marketing, of advertising. And just like real world, quote unquote real world, advertising, more money, more exposure. Yes, it's free to to tweet and to post on Facebook and all of that. 
And sometimes you hear these alarmist, uh, uh, these alarmist articles about Facebook is going to start charging us. Like, how am I going to talk to grandma if Facebook is charging me? Well, it's not about charging the average user. It's about charging advertisers or marketers or businesses. It's about charging us that we want to reach an audience. Facebook and Twitter and all of that is not going to charge regular people to communicate with each other. But they have been and they will continue to charge companies, big and small businesses, to reach those people. So in the real world, if I spend $100 to run a newspaper ad for uh, you know a week, well, if I spend a thousand dollars, I can run that newspaper ad on five newspapers or in seven cities, whatever. The more money I spend in the real world, the more I can advertise, and it does work. The more you advertise, the more people know about you, the more possibility you get of a result. Same thing with digital. Yeah, you can spend all day long on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and creating content. But all of those platforms give you a way to pay to reach an audience. And the good news is at least, or oftentimes, you can get started with as little as $1. Uh, we're going to look tangibly in a little bit in Facebook because it's one of the biggest digital marketing platforms. And with Facebook, you can reach the right audience for as little as a dollar. All of this other, all of these other ways of marketing are in so much of a range. Just to be generous, ten dollars to you know, ten thousand dollars. Huge range. You can get started with a little, as little as a dollar, in most of these platforms. But guess what? More money, more exposure. So when you spend more, you reach more. In real world, let's say traditional world, traditional advertising. In traditional advertising, there's a problem of exposure. Are you reaching the right people? Let's say I have a restaurant on Main Street, and I want to create a TV ad. In your opinion, uh, what might be a good channel to advertise my restaurant on? Food Network. Food Network, okay. So let's say I've got a restaurant, Food Network. What about any other channels maybe? Depends on the restaurant. What if it's an Italian food restaurant, a seafood restaurant? What if it's a seafood restaurant? and advertise on the fishing network. <laughs> is there a fishing network? Probably. So during a, fishing show. during a fishing show. So if you're reaching the right people, if you're trying to reach the right people, you go to the right channel. You advertise on the right TV show in between the, the segments during the right time of the day. So here we'll say right channel, right show. right time. You might not know what is the right one of those in the beginning, however. I have a restaurant, okay, I'm going to try advertising on Food Network. That doesn't mean you won't have success advertising on MTV or CNN or whatever. It might then also depend on what show you're advertising on and what time. So the big challenge in traditional marketing is that you've got your message you know where you're going to advertise at you, you you've got your commercial your radio ad your flyer whatever you've got your thing you're gonna promote then the hard part is okay where when what time for how long the price the great thing about then digital marketing is hyper targeting I have the general idea okay I'm a sports I'm a sports shop and I sell sporting goods. So I'm going to be advertising, you know, on channels that are playing sports. Obvious. But then when I when I try to 
reach a broader audience, I might not reach the right audience. I'm not on the right channel, or not the right newspaper, not the right uh, radio station. Digital marketing, we use, or many of us use, these networks so much that we give away so much information, so much demographic information without, it, without really realizing it. Uh, a lot of us, you know, use these networks, and I log on to Facebook, and I write about what I'm reading today, or what I'm watching, or what I'm doing, or where I'm at, and I'm sharing, and all of that network, all of those networks are aggregating that information. If you don't know by now, you know, all of these networks are, are capturing all of this information about you for the purposes of marketing to you. Well, from a consumer point of view, maybe I don't like that. I don't, I don't want to see ads, and I don't want to be intruded upon, and how does it know I'm interested in technology? Well, I'm posting about technology all day long on these networks. Well, on the other side of the coin, we're these app developers. You know, we're a company. We're anointed as a company. As soon as you start to make an app, yeah, you're a company. You're a developer. So from that side of the coin, we want to reach an audience. You want to reach an audience. You want people to know about your app. So on social media, on Instagram, people are posting all day long about a certain topic. Instagram will let us target exactly to certain age, gender, demographic, income level, all of that. So that it's most likely that the right people, that we will reach the right people to get the right result. So any marketing tool, any marketing or advertising tool, Um, has impressions, conversions, impressions. So this is just, you know, jargon, industry speak, impressions. People see your content, your ad, conversions. People do some action. Some result conversions. Uh, there's many kinds of conversions. We have simply, you know, from a digital point of view, we have <coughs> a follower, a new follower on Twitter. That's a conversion. We have a comment on Facebook. That's a conversion. You have a click from your Snap on Snapchat to your website. That's a conversion. We have a download of your app. That's a conversion. And uh, conversion is such a, you know, it's such a marketing speak word but it's such a generic word in that any action is a conversion but out of these right here which would you say is most important to you out of these four download the app, download the app yeah that's the one ultimately I want I want people to download my app costs 99 cents well yeah I want those downloads I want those sales 99 cents that's a lot easier said than done, even at 99 cents a pop. Uh, I might not get the download right away. Well, if I still do these other ones, which gets me toward this one, that's often what digital marketers are doing. That's why companies are trying to get as many followers as possible. That's why companies are trying to get as much activity and comments as possible. That's why marketers are trying to get traffic to their website. Because this ultimate conversion, the one that I really care about, you're not going to get it as easily as you would wish, as you would want. My app is only 99 cents. You can find 99 cents you know, in, the, in, in your glove box or something, but still people, even at 99 cents, people are hesitant, even though people waste so much money. 99 cents, they still can't do it. So marketing has, you're really throwing a net. Think about it in terms of traditional marketing. 
let's say there's a billboard on the 805. You know, people are going to drive down the 805 all day long, especially rush hour. There's hundreds of cars that are going to pass that billboard. Let's say 1,000 cars passed by my billboard. I'm a plumber. 1,000 people drove by my billboard. Does that mean I'm going to get 1,000 calls? Does that mean I'm going to get 100 calls? Does that mean I'm going to get 10 calls? I, I don't know. I, I, I hope, maybe, the more people look at that ad, the more it's interesting or funny or useful to someone, the more possibility that someone will call me. Well, what if I put that ad on the 805, and the 5, and the 54, and the 905, and all of that? So the more I put it out there, then I have even wider of a net for people to call me I'm a plumber. And of course, if people need a plumber, they'll call a plumber. So in digital marketing, we're trying to cast that net. In all marketing, we're trying to cast a we're trying to cat to cast as wide a net as possible. to increase our conversion rate. People seeing that ad on the highway, that billboard on the highway, those are impressions. People saw it. They were impressed by it. Not an impressed like, oh, amazing. Just simply an impression that they saw it. And then the conversion is that they call me um, that they email me, that something happens, that they were converted from a non-customer to a customer, a non-caller to a caller. So very common to have a conversion rate between like really 0.1% and 9%. You know, if you're going higher than 9%, you're amazing. But it's very common to have results that low. And for example, in social media, let's say um, on Twitter, I, I, I tweeted about my app. Um, and I'm marketing my app. I'm trying to have people know about it and download my app. So let's say, and Twitter will give you this data. Let's say Twitter tells me, OK, well, uh, your reach, which is impressions, your impressions, you know, you, uh, you reached 123 people, 125 people, um, impressions. And then we had two downloads, conversions. Doing a little math. Two divided by 125 is a very small number, 1%, uh, 1.6%, 1.6% success rate. Let's say some larger values. Let's say my tweet went viral. It was hilarious. People loved it. People shared it. Oh, it got up to 10,482 impressions. You know, 10,000 people saw it. Great, I'm going to make 10,000 downloads. Yes? No. So, um, oftentimes, you know, 1% uh, is usually what people will experience. So, uh, just to put a number here, 123. So 123 divided by 10,482. That's um, that's a little higher there. So the the success rate is is again also some somewhere around there, 1.7. So the point is I'm trying to get more and more impressions so that I have more conversions. And they're often going to be very low, but 
here's where we our secret weapon which is a little anticlimactic so the one weird trick to get results pay for them but that's what happens in the real world too the more you pay to put those radio ads the more you pay to create those flyers the more you pay to do this real world advertising it works in the digital world as well you can pay these various networks to reach more people and the right people so we'll take a break in a bit and what we will do is um, I'm gonna show you how to set this up on Facebook and if you've got a Facebook account you can do this um, Facebook we will see after the break will let us create business pages for free and we can make them all up completely fake and then delete it no harm no foul so after the break I'll show you how to create a, a Facebook business page and how to use it to do some of this I'm not asking you of course to pay for anything at all I'll take you to the one step right before you click buy uh, to see how it works and we will we'll talk a little bit about Facebook ads how to reach an audience uh, the, w with the biggest digital footprint, Facebook. So it's 7.36, we'll take a break until 7.46, and then we'll go on. Question? I'll be right there, yes.